far so good. I think um, you know it seems to be a peaceful protest, which is what we wanted. Uh, and there's a very strong police presence so that it doesn't turn into the kind of situation that did a lot of harm in our city back in February. I, I think uh, that situation was brought under control by about 10. Uh, a number of vehicles were towed away, about 400 parking tickets issued. And uh, the police are, are taking a, a very strong stance because we wanted to make sure that our communities and our neighborhoods are protected. At the same time, we want to make sure that people have the right to protest. Uh, but uh, they can't bring that kind of uh, destruction and harm uh, to our residential communities and our small business communities that are still suffering from the truck convoy and COVID-19. So I think that, you know, this was uh, obviously a little more than what Ottawa had planned for. I've called on City Council and the Mayor over the last several days to ensure that we have backup plans to the backup plans here. Last night got out of control and was the first sign that we weren't prepared here for what was going to happen. And I still, I still believe that today with um with everything that's happened a lot of people don't feel safe in ottawa right now so i'm here because you know i don't mind taking on these guys and and i want people to enjoy their city again